So I just read about Ford axing CEO Mark Fields after company shares had fallen 37% during his tenure. Then I read that Ford threw $54 million at Fields as they shoved him out the door. Add another $19 million in stock, and Fields' failings got him $73 million. It's a so-called golden parachute in Fields' case, solid gold and diamond encrusted. But Fields is hardly the only corporate CEO to screw up on the job and collect mega millions nonetheless. The late Roger Ailes of Fox News, accused by 20 women of gross sexual harassment, walked away with $40 million. Two million for each accuser, you might say. Remember the Wells Fargo scandal when employees created millions of bogus checking and credit card accounts without customers' knowledge, then charged customers fees for those unauthorized accounts? Well, the bank's board immediately cracked down on the two executives responsible, boldly clawing back $75 million of their pay. Tragically, this left Carrie Tolstead to scrape by with only $77 million, and former CEO in charge of this whole thing, John Stumpf, a mere $217 million. Here's just one more of so, so many. Before United Airlines drew the ire of the nation for dragging a bleeding passenger down a plane aisle, there was former United CEO Jeff Smizek, the center of a massive federal corruption probe about whether the airline traded favors with a Port Authority chairman. Smizek was forced out, but not to worry. Smizek's 2015 parachute totaled close to $37 million including a car, free flights for the rest of his life, and this is the best one, special airport parking privileges at Houston and Chicago forever. The system is indeed rigged. Many of the same corporations which complain about paying a $15 minimum wage pay obscene sums instead to mediocre and failed executives. Taxpayers like you and me end up subsidizing mega corporations since minimum wage workers are so poor, many qualify for government aid programs like food stamps and Medicaid. But the president wants to take away food stamps and Medicaid from Americans who don't have two cents so that mega millionaires, Mark Fields, Carrie Tolstead, John Stumpf, Jeff Smizek, and the estate of Roger Ailes can get mega millions more through massive tax breaks. I hate to be Debbie, or in my case, Donnie Downer here, but let's face it, we have totally lost our way.